Welcome to Switch It Up. Hey, I'm Sheila. <laughs> I'm Todd. We started doing this silly <laughs> intro. She doesn't like saying our names, but if you're new to the channel, it's you don't know who we are. Yeah. Because she says you'll see it in the intro here in a little bit, but you don't see it in the beginning. So I think introductions are important, but I digress. He digresses a lot. That's Todd. That's me. How about we just roll? Oh, no. We need to tell him what we're going to tell him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on the road for six months. This is probably one of the fun videos we get to make because after six months, we get to talk to you about our favorites. Our favorites. We're going to tell you about our favorites. Kind of a, the past six months, and we're going to have new favorites, but let's tell them about our yeah, current we're favorites. We are really looking forward to sharing with you. I think we have 10, maybe? Yes. Let's do 10. So let's we'll do, do 10. 10. We're going to do 10. And we kind of kick things back and forth. So get ready it'll be chaotic but until then roll the most infamous intro on rv youtubing ever boy that's a big that's statement. a big that's a big but one, let's roll it? the intro <laughs> a man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road and they didn't know where they would go but it's gotta be better than staying And we're back. I like to use my arms a lot for motion. <laughs> Apparently I'm noticing this more and more when I'm looking at the videos. <laughs> Must be my transition, I don't know. So let's talk. Welcome to all the new people. Thank you for discovering the channel. We look forward to having you join us on our journey. We're only six months in of our one year journey and you can see that how we got to this point if you go back to one of our very first videos and selling everything moving into our grand design momentum 395 ms buying a big truck and hitting the road so for six months we've gone a number of places you can see that on our website go switch it up.com and trying to get you all up to speed you'll see an interactive map to places we've gone along with our videos so today we're celebrating six months by sharing our favorites boy that was a lot of info <laughs> Yes, well, let's just start with some of our, kind of some of our favorite, had a lot of great experiences, but what about like your favorite motorcycle ride? We okay. have an Indian dark horse that yes. we take out. We call him the donkey. The donkey. Everything has a name. So our truck is Shrek. This is Fiona, otherwise known as Fee. I'm Sheila, but he's pointing to yeah, the I'm rig. Not, I've kind of gone through you. That's <laughs> this is Fee. And then... Uh, our motorcycles the donkey so when we first started we've gone different places but favorite motorcycle ride by far we've been quite a few nice places i'm going to say bear tooth highway we left from red lodge montana and it goes up and over to 10,947 feet <laughs> i bet you didn't know i knew that i looked it up and then it goes over and then it goes down into the wyoming side and it is the most spectacular motorcycle ride I have yet to see. It was absolutely beautiful. It was, the temperature change was yeah. massive. Yes. So I got a little chilly at the top. There was still snow up there. Yeah, but it was beautiful. I would agree. That yeah, was probably... and we, we shot a video on that. So you'll be able to see if you are a motorcycle enthusiast, you will be like, oh my goodness. Now, we've been to some other places like Glacier National Park, but by far, best motorcycle ride, Beartooth Highway. There is not even, and we've done. So far. We've done Arkansas rides. We've done other things. I'm telling you, that was a fabulous ride. Yes, that was. Okay, how about your the your favorite? Okay, so we have a some of our favorites. We might have you might get two because we're kind of. We don't of, always agree. Yeah, but so how about your favorite national park? For me, hands down. Um, now remember, we've only done this side the west side of the united states we're getting ready to go to the east side so we haven't we seen haven't everything done all of the west side we didn't do the national parks in california or oregon or, or in washington. washington yeah but so out of what we've seen your favorite so far glacier national park there's not even like uh there's not even like for me it's just the, the number one place i and when we started the journey never heard of glacier national park <laughs> honest honest to goodness she was like well when we go on this trip i really want to go see glacier national park and i was like i don't even know where that is and she goes it's up by canada and montana or yeah montana, montana. and i'm like okay Un that is the most unbelievable now we had a very unique experience 
um, there where we got to go and do things, but that was by far. And she has a little bit different opinion. I did. I really loved Glacier. I did. It was, I would say it's probably, to me, it's a toss up between that and Zion National Park. Mm -hmm. I loved Zion. The bike ride there was fabulous. Now talking about the bike ride. I'm talking about know, the national park. Just the national park in general, yeah. It's general. Like there's just, I don't know, there's so many beautiful waterfalls, but there's so much, it's just two totally different things. I would probably have to agree with you with Glacier overall, but Zion is just like right there. Yeah. It was beautiful. So and that, that's a, that was um, an interesting, because when we were talking about these driving in the truck, when she made the comment, you know, what was your favorite? And I said that, she goes, okay. But do you feel like it, we have things still yet to do at Zion? We do. And versus Glacier. So we would probably, I would say doing wise, we would probably go back to Zion prior, before Glacier if we were right. Yep, that's our favorite go back spot. Our favorite go back, our, one of our top favorite places we would go back to is Utah. <laughs> that's number three. <laughs> that is number three. Great segue, Todd. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was doing it. What's our favorite go back spot? Would be Utah. There is so, we left, we did not even touch the surface in Utah of things to see there. So that is definitely our top go back. Yeah, I didn't even, I messed up her list. But that's so like, now it's, that's number, number three. Number three, we moved favorite. that up. So <laughs> now did. you know, that was a go back spot, number three. Number three is a go back Now she, spot. her list is messed up. So <laughs> she's going to make sure we get the numbers right. So let's do number four. Number four. How about your favorite kayaking experience? Okay, we enjoy kayaking a lot if you've seen the channel. So we've gone to a number of places. Um, we've done the Grand Tetons and we've done some other places, but I, by far overall kayaking will be in Florida. And there's- The tree crabs? No, don't talk about the tree crabs. <laughs> I did not like, that was down. <laughs> if you watch the video, you will laugh at my well, you said Florida, so that was the yes, first no, no. experience. You were waiting like... for that. You were like <laughs> pouncing. And I could see... Huh? During high tide. We're at low tide. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick are those things? <laughs> they're like... They're like... I don't want sh falling on me. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Like, this isn't even funny. Is I almost touched that thing because I was trying. What is it? I don't know. They're like crabs. Like, they're crabs crawling in the trees. No, we're not talking about tree crabs. I don't think I will ever live down tree crabs. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. I am talking about, um, like, where they shot the different movies, the Tarzan movies. What was that? Silver, Silver Springs. Silver Springs, I believe. Love. That's we love that. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was another one I can't remember the name of, but Florida in general, I think for kayaking. Oh, kayaking with the manatees, that was fun uh, down there. That was a little stressful. Oh, Big no, it wasn't animal stressful. coming it was up fun. underneath you. It was beautiful. It took a little bit, but yeah, Florida in general for kayaking is like. Yes. Awesome. Now here's a caveat that I have for that though. Okay. I really I saw a lot of water that I would love to yes. have gotten on in Montana and in Wyoming. Mm. However, it's beautiful. It is beautiful and so I can't say I would say Florida as right as of right now is my favorite kayaking mm -hmm. where we've been able to go there's some beautiful rivers that I would love to kayak in Montana and Wyoming however we are not white water trained no. and so we she was talking about getting helmets and floats I think she was just trying to kill me no, and to throw me on this white water I looked at it and I was like ooh those are class three and four some fives we're not anywhere ready for that. We need to take some classes, some roller classes, and we do not have the right equipment. So, just as a tip, if you're going to start kayaking, pay attention to the water. But I would love to go back to that we would and have, try that water. I think that's a whole other segment where we would like hire some guides and have them train us. That, that would be a whole other thing. REI that we does do. some great classes. We can do that. She's an adventure seeker that likes to push her husband out of her his box. Ugh. That's anyway, it. I was just saying that there's some favorite go back to some water that I want to try. Yes, but as of now, favorite is Florida. Yes. Let's pause. We are pausing for the honey wagon. Oh no, a tractor and a honey, a honey wagon. wagon. Uh -huh. A tractor honey wagon. Here's a fun fact. 
don't buy anything from a honey wagon. They don't <laughs> offer honey. <laughs> We're not using that. <laughs> Number five. Another thing we enjoy getting to do is um, we have e-bikes and so we love to take our e-bikes out. So how about let's talk about some of our favorite bike rides. Yeah, we have the Hemiway um, e-bike and we have a link down below. We became ambassadors to them just recently so they're a great bike and we enjoy them. As far as, man, best bike rides, we have you mentioned Zion, but hands down, I'm going hands down. We got a very fortunate opportunity, and that was to go going to the Sun Road with no traffic at Glacier National Park. And if I, I'll find some video footage because you guys are going to be blown. It is an amazing video, and that was the most epic, beautiful bike ride thing. And you have to do it prior to when was that? When do you have to do it prior to without oh, traffic? I would say before like June 20th. Father's Day-ish. Yeah, somewhere in there. Depending upon how much snow they get. But mm. mid oh. mid to late June, do you, have something? you still have the ability to ride that road with a bike before they open it up. Nice. So that was Man. that was spectacular. That Is that your number one? Mm. I really, you mentioned Zion, I really liked that ride too. That was just totally different. Boy, another, gosh, that's so hard. Some of I our know, most great, great experiences have been on those bikes. Um, I enjoyed riding them on the beach in Panama City, Yeah. just going down. And I also enjoyed taking them up and over the bridge to Sanibel Island. Yeah, that was good. We've uh, also, I think we do, we do probably kayaking and e-biking more than we actually do on motorcycle rides because I think it just gives us more time together being able to talk. And we get to get back and see, see things, things off of the road. We even the took the path. bikes uh, when we did a boondocking, our boondocking, we took the bikes up and Into over. That, and, oh, that lake. was beautiful too. But number okay, one, but number you know, one probably, for you. I have pro number one probably would be that glacier going to the, the sun, sun road. road. Now it'd be beautiful on a motorcycle, but we got to do a lot more pulling off. And yeah, there's seeing. no cars. Yeah. But Zion, mm, obviously you can see we're torn between, and the beach. <sighs> anyway, there was a lot of great experiences. These are supposed to be our favorites. Yes, I know. Okay, number six. six. How about our favorite state? Okay, again, I don't want to exclude anyone on the East Coast, so we're talking from Kansas this way, and we haven't done three of the states. But as of now, most surprising state by far, hands down, um, will be Utah for me. Is your favorite state so far? So far, yeah. I, I now Texas surprised me with the hill country. Never even knew that existed. You're sounding like you led a very sheltered life. I did. I <laughs> lived in Kansas. Most of us live in our bubbles, right? Yeah. And we don't get out of our bubbles. And you You're get. Like, I didn't know where Glacier was. Well, I didn't know about Texas having hills. I, but... I, well, you don't. <laughs> you really don't. We go on like a lot of times. You do two and three vacations. You might get lucky. Go to a Mexico, or you might do a Las Vegas trip, or maybe go do a national park. But until you get out to experience, you really have no idea. So as far as, I mean, what are we doing most? Your favorite state. My just favorite just state. state. Not just a surprising state. state. No, just the okay. state. Just the favorite state. state. Favorite state. Hands down. Oh, it's a tough. This will be so you far. You already answered. You I know it's Utah, Utah but Montana kind of squeaks in there too. So Utah, I'm staying with Utah. Final answer. <laughs> and never... we're from Kansas. We love our home state, Kansas. But man. Okay, so my favorite state is probably a little different than yours. I want to go back to Utah and I want to do the adventure in Utah. Yes. yes. Loved Zion for sure. Arches, yada, yada, yada. But my favorite state has got to be Florida. <laughs> I like Florida for What's the kayak. That? Here's it's the thing. You don't uh, well, like my favorite he, tell her, state. Tell them why you also like Florida. Tell I, okay, so all the things about Florida. You've got the ocean. You've got yeah, the beach. Beautiful. You've got the beautiful. gulf. You've got the kayaking abilities. Mm -hmm. And you have the happiest place on earth. Oh. I love Disney World. We are so disagreeing on Disney. I, just, I love Disney. I love the feel of Florida. Florida just feels good. I know. We've been to Disney quite a few times. So Not enough. If you have never been to Disney, I'm not here I to, to go shut to it all down. Of them. Go. She does. Every, That's all a, of them. on her bucket list. We may have to switch it up and do all the Disney's one in, Paris, in the world. One but in for we this, digress. We That's are digressing. <laughs> it is a squirrel. Florida is just hot and muggy in the summertime. In it's the 110 winter, in Utah right now. 
Yeah, Dad just told us that. <laughs> anyway. We haven't been there in the hot times. We, we only enjoyed the, the, the nice cool the, times. Right. Anyway, I'm so staying sorry. with Utah. Okay, you say Utah. I'm going to choose Florida because I love all the water. And the mugginess. You could pour the water off of you in the summer. Really? Okay, how Miami's about... Miami's cool. I, yeah. Key West was awesome. There's a lot of amazing things. I lo we I'm... love Clearwater area. Yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway, how about number seven? We'd probably be more apt to move to Florida versus most any other state. Wouldn't you say? That's not on the list, but... I'm sorry, my mind is processing her our dynamic here. I don't here. know. I have another favorite state okay. for moving, but that's coming. Okay. All right. Seven. Number seven. How about our favorite experience? Other than biking and, like, just overall, we do different experiences. We've done helicopter tours. Yeah, we did we've a done... helicopter tour to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, which yeah. was fabulous. We've done helicopter over, like... Over uh, Mount, Mount Rushmore, Rushmore, which is amazing. But experiences that we yeah. have done on our channel in the last six months. Yes, those experiences. What's your favorite? Moab, portal jeeps. Brandon. Brandon. He, he took us on this amazing. jeep tour, um, going up the Devil's Backbone, seeing the sights, seeing the dinosaur footprints. That is the one place out of all the things that we have done that I wish we would have taken more time. Like... Because it was, it was like four or five hours, and I think we could have done like an eight well, we, or yeah, hour. Yeah, we could have said, "Hey, Brandon, we're going with you for the day. We want to see the sunrise uh, to the sunset," and we would have loved it. And the jeep going up and down and articulating and doing all things. I was freaking out in the very, very beginning, but as you got into it and you got more comfortable, that is like an experience unlike anything that we've ever done. And yeah. I just really fell in love with that. I understand the jeep thing now Ooh, does that mean i can get a jeep she's still talking about the jeep we have no we'd have to change our whole we'd have to sell fiona get a class a tow a jeep we'd have to well, we'll now talk you're about talking like about a plan. season four and five if we can continue doing this life for a while <laughs> that might be a switch okay so we do agree on the experience i would say of the experiences that probably has been my favorite that fell in love with it that's where i fell in love with utah that's where i fell in love with the jeep <laughs> Love that. That was great. Okay. How about number eight? How about your favorite town? Like just the vibe and the feel of a town. Okay. I don't, I, there's, I got to thinking about this because we had discussed these as we drove down the road a while back. And so you start processing because you can't think of everything at first when you do so much. So I was, I came down to Estes Park. Mm, that's a good one. Okay. My close second uh, would be probably Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Okay, but we're doing our favorites. I know, but I mean, it's like, uh, I really like the Jackson Hole yes, area Yes, that's a too. great, that's but a great feel. Estes Park. I do like the vibe of Estes Park. Yeah, there's just something about being able to walk around, the shopping and the environment. Did you and, just say shopping? Well, shopping for you, but I mean, just going out, Look walking around. It's not the same type of shopping. <laughs> We went to the Mall of America. That is not any, that's not, I didn't even shoot video while we were there. It was not the same. As okay, but the thing. feel, just the overall feel yes. of the town, the people, Estes Park is, is got to be, I would agree. My favorite, I also really liked Naples, Florida. Oh, yeah. But it's, again, yeah. I loved, I could just sit yeah. by the... That was when we first started, too. Yeah, but We stopped I, in Naples for four days. I could just stand at the dock and watch those boats come in and out and just, uh, I it's, don't know. It kind of has that L.A. Hollywood vibe with the really high-end exotic stuff along with, I don't know, you've got the Miami kind of vibe with it the ocean. It was great, it's just yeah, like it's a just combination totally different, but I, I... Naples was cool. I loved Estes Park, and I also loved Naples, Florida a lot. Okay. Yes. Yeah. How about... What number are we on? Nine. Nine. We're almost there. We're almost there. You've, hey, you've almost made it. Our favorite gizmo okay. that we've had, that we bring along, gizmo or gadget on the... If you watch our channel, I like to do videos, of course, that's why we do them three days a week, but gizmo, gadget type thing, I mean, besides, we got motorcycle and the e-bikes and all that, but gizmo, gadget is my... Your favorite. Do your favorite. My favorite. Your favorite. This is, I love and hate this camera all at the same time. It's the Insta360, and it's the camera we use when we go on our adventures, whether we're in the kayak, whether we're doing the bike rides, and you can see all around the amazing views. This is the, everyone asks, where's the, where's that stick, that, in, that invisible stick thing? This is it. And uh, 
it has a cover on it. That's why it looks that way. But long story short, uh, the bad part is, is you have to edit the video on your phone, so it takes forever. So I love shooting with it, but editing sometimes will take me two and three times longer. But this is my favorite gizmo gadget uh, to capture on our journey. and to share with you. And it's like five, four or five hundred dollars. I'll put a link down below, but I love this gadget. My favorite gadget is not a camera. It's your husband. Hmm. No? <laughs> My favorite gizmo has probably got to be the e-bike because oh, it just bike. gets us off the beaten path, back into things that... The experience part. Yeah, that you just couldn't get to without them. They're just super handy. We would say that would be the number one thing if you're looking to go into this lifestyle. It doesn't matter the e-bike brand, we're not going to go there, but we're just saying that you should probably look into buying an e-bike because it gives so much flexibility. Unless you're really in shape and you bike a lot and Ugh. you just like to pedal, then get, you just bring your yourself? regular bike. But our e-bikes, it just allows us to go back, it just allows us to go farther. And, it does. And get to places. So I would say my favorite is probably our our bike okay okay that's a good one number 10 oh this is a big one and they've all messed up so i don't know where we're at we're at the very end okay the very number end. 10 number 10 i wanted to share with you my favorite app plant my my okay. favorite because todd doesn't app. really necessarily have a planning app yes so i use um the camp pendium a lot um we use our Garmin 36 or our Garmin 980, 890. 890. We did a video on that. That many. would be my favorite. Would that be your favorite? Yeah, if we're going to go in the planning stuff, the, yes. Yeah, the Garmin is great because it provides you the peace of mind, peace of mind safety, road safety, height. height, all that stuff. Mine is probably the Camp Pendium because when I'm trying to look as a global overview of, you know, am I looking for a, a parking lot? Am I looking for a public land am i looking yeah. for an rv park they're all right there easy to toggle on and off there's several other apps i've looked at that one is just more clean and not as are we a paid subscriber to that i don't even know i don't know because she usually finds okay. these and we go is does it have a paid membership yep, to it it does so you just use the free version i just use the free version what is the do you know what the paid version gives you nope huh campendium you should market a little more i guess no i'm sure they do <laughs> This isn't about that. <laughs> this is about, it just provides me the options of, okay, here's some RV parks. And then I go and check, okay, Harvest Hosting. So that's your membership. starting point. That's my starting point. Camp Pendium is my starting point as far as, well, it's not my starting starting point, but it is the app that I use when I'm looking for, okay, we need to stay somewhere in this general area. What are my options? And I think you've done fabulous, except when she's over there pulling her hair out going, why is everything booked? That's yes. never a good now, thing. There's been a lot of controversy and conversation about that. Let's digress into that rabbit hole for a second. Okay, so, so this is bonus footage. <laughs> bonus! It's not a... It's So not everything... People are saying, well, yes, you can just go and you don't have to book anything. Here's the thing. Yep. If you are under four, 35 feet, you're probably in great you're shape. You golden. can You can find state parks and county parks and city parks and national parks, and you have all those options. We're 45 feet plus Shrek. We're at 60 feet total, give or all take. All right, look at this. I don't know if this is wide enough. We are outside Loveland, Colorado to start this lovely adventure. And uh, this is our first state park. And uh, you can tell my truck is right here, not supposed to be on the grass. <laughs> and then it sits all the way back. These wonderful sites, they've said, are hard on big rigs. Say hi, dear. Hey. It does say and we should fit, but we barely fit. We should, yeah, we barely fit. So here's the road. We decided to leave the kayaks because we're only here for one night. We're making our way to Wyoming yes. and we needed a little pit stop so we're trying our first state park. All we have is electrical hookups and that's about it. Our options just aren't as plentiful. When you're going to look for big rigs it is a little more difficult to find a place to, in fact I'm stuck right now in the late late fall trying to find a spot where we can fit. So, we're on a wait list. That's oh, fun. That's fun. That means we're boondocking. And Todd has, like, loves boondocking. He's had some amazing experiences boondocking. <laughs> <laughs> There's always challenges with a big rig and boondocking. Smaller rig's great. Big rig, 
Whoo, boy. Little, little stressors. But those are our top 10 favorite things so far on our journey. And at the end of our year journey, we'll come back and see if any of these top 10 still Might make it. Might change onto the east side. Yeah, yeah who knows? Uh, uh, when we do an overall top favorites. We feel very blessed to go this last six months and a lot of you following along and a lot of new people that have joined our journey. And we appreciate all that. Yep. And so you guys actually do really well at providing comments. Let's go back to do all the things like liking, commenting, subscribing. You know that com subscribing is free. Oh, it is free. Yeah, and they can subscribe and unsubscribe. Just like that. Just like that. If I make you mad one video, you unsubscribe, you subscribe the next video, it's all good. And the commenting part, we love comments, good and bad. And the liking and disliking, we love those too because it tells I like the liking. I know. It tells YouTube world, "Hey, this video is actually pretty important." And when you do those things, it tells YouTube to share it with more people that allows the Switch crew to grow and that's how you came and sat with us today. And the Switch crew is about building community and that's what we are about. Community, people, experiences, and we just thank you for coming along on our journey. Yeah, so especially these last six months, it's a lot of gratitude and we do appreciate everything that you've done. So from helping on our journey to giving all the comments and where we should go, welcome to um, Camper Life. Camper Life. So that being said, we are...